What is up, kids? Mr. Mathis Meyer here. Take a look at the rhythm below. We have 16th notes on the first beat. See those awesome 16th notes? Yeah. Normally we say tiki tiki ta, ta, ta. Say it with me, just the black notes. Tiki tiki ta, ta, ta. Tiki tiki ta, ta, ta. And when we play it, we would have tiki tiki ta, ta, ta. Yeah, but look what I did down below. I'm messing with you. I got rid of the second 16th note, and I said bye-bye. So I deleted him, and what I'm going to do is not say the second key. I'm going to say T tiki ta 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 T tiki ta 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 and if I speed it up, T tiki ta ta Ta, T tiki ta, 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 and I would play T tiki ta, ta, ta on the red notes. I hope they're looking red to you, but if I click on my little editing program, you can see all my tricks I have. I'm going to pick the that X right there. Come here, come here, X. How do I get you? There we go. Go to your home. We're going to cross out that key. So now we can say the red ones T tiki ta. Ta, ta, T tiki ta, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to see that all over our rhythms today in our bucket drumming. T tiki ta, T tiki ta, T tiki T tiki T tiki T tiki ta. Oh, it's so fun. Let's do it. All right, kids, do not get scared of this rhythm. It does look a little intimidating. Let me help you through it. The first beat, we have that new rhythm called an eighth with two sixteenths. Do you see it? It's an eighth note followed by two sixteenths. So we would say, T tiki ta. Yeah. Can you do it? T tiki ta. Boom, ba ba boom. That's what I like to see. All right. Look ahead. All right, we've got that same rhythm happening quite a bit, but I put in the eighth notes just to confuse you. <laughs> and then it repeats. And we're only on the head right now, right in the middle of the drum. I'll say the whole thing with my arrow going by. T tiki ta, T tiki ta, T tiki T T ta. T tiki ta, T tiki ta, T tiki T. T ta, whoosh. and we will not be repeating it exactly on the head every time. We're taking that same rhythm and moving it to all four places. It starts out first as clicks, and then we move down. T tiki da, T tiki da, T tiki ti ti ta. Oh, you guys ready to try it? Mm-hmm. Let's do this. One last thing, kids. Take a look at these two. I put some dynamics down on the bottom, and dynamics mean how loud or how quiet should you be playing. So this one starts off piano, and that means to be quiet, and you gradually get louder to forte. That is a crescendo. And once you arrive at the volume of forte, you then decrescendo down to piano. It's really fun to do because you're going to know that rhythm like awesome. This one here takes the whole entire time to go from piano up to forte. And once again, that is a crescendo. Get your sticks, get your buckets. Let's play this stuff.
right, look at the first two measures. They are piano, and the next two are forte. This goes between just the head and clicks, so you can leave one hand still. Here we go. All right, we have that eighth note with two sixteenths, going from head, rim, to sides. What? The first measure? We don't play anything. Four beats of silence. A whole rest. Here we go. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, rest, rest. Let's go. Take a look at the quarter rests. No sound on one beat. Just to mess with you. Final challenge with the half note. Two beats for one sound. Good job.